What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is Jim I Jets' October slash November 2021 releases. Now the reason why this isn't split up into two releases for October and November is because of the shipping delays due to COVID. So uh, yeah, that being said, without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the 1 to 400 October slash November 2021 releases, we have an Air Canada E220 in the Trans Canada Airlines Retro Livery. Registration is Charlie Golf November, Bravo November. It is scale 1 to 400 and the MSRP is 47.95. Continuing on down the line, we have an Alaska Air Cargo 737-700. It looks pretty nice and um, yeah, there isn't really much to say about it. Uh, but the price for this model is 47.95 and the registration is November 627 Alpha Sierra N627 AS. Continuing on down the line, we have an American Airlines Embraer ERJ145LR. Now, had this model been released a few months ago, I probably would have gotten it for Stewart International Airport, which is another one of the airports that I'm building besides Newark. Uh, but because American permanently stopped service to Stewart uh, last month, I probably won't end up going with it for this model. But uh, yeah, registration for this model is November 603 Kilo Charlie and 603 KC. It is scale 1 to 400 and the price is 43.95. Getting on down the line, we have a Delta CRJ 700ER. It looks pretty nice, and I mean, there really isn't really much to say about it other than that. This is operated by SkyWest uh, due to the registration. Actually, no, it's not. It would be SK, but it's CA, so I think this is uh, operated by Endeavor, I believe. But uh, yeah, looks pretty nice. The registration on this is November 391 Sierra uh, Charlie Alpha and 391 CA, and it's 4395. Staying on down the line, we have a Southwest 737-700 in their California One livery. Uh, now, I'm just waiting for Gemini Jets to release uh, all these Southwest liveries, and then I might just end up collecting them all. But uh, yeah, I'm not really going to go for this, but I know this is going to sell pretty fast just because it's a Southwest model. But uh, yeah, registration on this is November 943 Whiskey November and 943 WN, and the price of this is $47.95. Continuing on down the line, we have a UPS 747-8 Interactive. Uh, now, I don't know why Gemini just decided to re-release this. Uh, I think the registration is the same as the last one because I do remember that uh, in October 2020, they did release this in their October 2020 releases. So I don't know why they're re-releasing it. Maybe it's due to popular demand, but uh, I have no idea why. But the registration for this model is number 6. Uh, 08 Uniform Papa N608 UP, and it's $69.95. Getting on down the line to the last 1 to 400 uh, cargo slash passenger models, we have two uh, World Global Airways WGA 747-400s. It's the exact same registration, except one is in the flaps down. Uh, registration for this is November 344 Kilo Delta and 344 KD, and the price is $62.95 for the one that is uh, non-flaps down, so the normal one, and then for the flaps down variant, it's slightly more expensive, which is November 344 Kilo Delta. Continuing on down the line to the Gemini Max 1 to 400s, we have two Gemini Max models being released in this release. The first one is an Australian Air Force C-130-30 Super Hercules. Now, the difference between the C-130-30 and the C-130 is, I believe, there's one of them is a little bit more lengthened. One of them is a little bit more long than the original. But, uh, yeah, there really is no difference besides that. But the registration for this is, I believe, Alpha 97442, which is what it says on the tail. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, the price on this is $41. And continuing on down to another model. Now, this, I know, is a model that a lot of people are going to want because, well, it is a B-52. Uh, now, essentially, the B-52 in... Air Forces in general, they play a massive role in, I believe, refueling. So this is going to be a model that is going to sell out fast. And I believe that this is just a model that Gemini Jets is going to start really milking because, you know, a lot of people want it. But uh, yeah, registration on this is, I believe, 600034 and it's 5395. Continuing on down to the 1 to 200 models for this release. Coming up here, we have an Air Mexico 737 Max 9. Registration on this is Alpha X ray Alpha Mike Alpha Zulu XA MAZ, and it's $95.95. Getting on down the line, we have an Alaska 737-900ER in the One World livery. Gemini Jets actually did release this in 1-400, to 400, uh, except barring the flaps down. So this is just uh, in 1-200 to and with the flaps down configuration. But the registration on this is November 487 Alpha Sierra and 487AS. Uh, and it's 
it's $99.95. Continuing on down the line, we have a Bombardier Dash 8Q400 in the Washington Huskies. Uh, this, I believe this is a sports team in Washington State that uh, Alaska is putting on their aircraft. Uh, but yeah, registration is number 45 Quebec X ray and 45 QX, and the price on this is $73.95. Continuing on down the line, we have an American Airlines Embraer ERJ 175. Registration on this thing is November 2 T3, November, November, and I believe it's $88.95. Now, Germany just have been slowly raising the prices on their models, but uh, even though they've raised them on their website, uh, most model stores still sell Gemini Jets models at a reduced price. So, like, as an example, the American 145 shows for $43.95, but then on the diecast airplane store, you're gonna see it for around $35. And I do believe this is because of Gemini Jets' quality, but yeah. Continuing on down the line, back to the 1 to 200 models, we have the same registration uh, Boeing 747 Dreamlifter, except this one has opening doors, uh, and this one has opening doors and flaps and slats extended. So this thing is just an absolute beast of a model, because not only do the doors open, but the flaps and slats extended. But the registration on both of these is the number 718 Bravo Alpha. And the price on the one with the opening fuselage is $197, uh, while the one with the opening fuselage plus the flaps is $216. Continuing with the trend of Gemini Jets releasing something in 1 to 400 or 1 to 200, and then them releasing it in 1 to 200 slash 1 to 400, we have a Cayman Airways 737 MAX 8. Registration on this thing is Victor Papa uh, Charlie India X ray VPCIX. It is scale 1 to 200, and the price is $95.95. Moving on down the line, we have an Emirates A3 A380-800 in the Expo 2020 livery. Now, I kind of am happy that uh, Gemini Jets is releasing this, uh, just a blank livery Emirates A380, but uh, I really wish they would release one in 1-400 to without any sort of um, advertisement or whatever on it, Expo 2020 as an example. I wish they just released a vanilla Emirates A380 because I feel that would, that would honestly sell really fast because people want the generic not the you know special livery but uh yeah registration on this thing is i believe it's alpha six uh echo uniform delta as it says a6 eud and it's 184.95 continuing on down the line we have two fedex aircraft the first one is a fedex express atr 72 with the registration uh Echo India Golf Uniform Lima EIG Well uh, and the ATR 76 bucks, while the uh, MD 11 is the registration is November 604 Foxshot Echo and 604 FE and it's 156 bucks. Continuing on down the line, we have a NASA Gulf Stream 5. Uh, this is pretty Euro white. Um, this, it looks like a boring livery in my mind. Uh, I really wish that it would make it, you know, NASA would make this a little bit better. But uh, yeah, registration on this is November 9, 5, November Alpha, and it's 73 bucks. Moving on down the line, we have a C-17 Globemaster 3 in the Australian Air Force livery. Now, Gemini Jets have really been releasing Australian aircraft lately. I don't know if there's a lot of Australian collectors who collect uh, Gemini Max models, but this is kind of been a trend with Gemini Jets releasing a lot of Royal R Australian Air Force RAAF aircraft um, other than other versions of Gemini Max models. But uh, yeah, registration on this is Alpha 41206, A41206, and it's $130.95. Once again, continuing with the last two models in 1 to 200, Gemini Jets did release these in their September releases. They released the Turkish 789 and the UPS 752, which they're now putting in 1 to 200. This one is the same registration as uh, last release, which is Tango Charlie Lima Lima Oscar TCLLO, or at least I believe it does. Um, yeah, it does. It has the same registration as well as the UPS 752 with the registration November 464 Uniform Papa and 464 UP. Uh, so the Turkish costs 148 and the UPS costs 99.95. So that's pretty much $100. Moving on to the last scale and the last model of this release, we have once again a Gemini 
GA 172 scale Cessna 172 with a registration November 9706 Bravo. Now, it actually has been a long time since Gemini Jets have released a 172 scale Gemini GA. The last time they did it, I believe, was way, I think it was last summer that they did it. Um, yeah, I think this is starting to become a pretty popular thing, Gemini GA models, because I know that a lot of people do collect it. But uh, yeah, really the only models that I would get if an, even if I had the money, there's nothing that I really need from this release. Uh, I would maybe go for the Air Canada A220. Uh, the American 145 is also a maybe, along with the UPS 748, because, I mean, come on. It's a it's an interactive in 1 to 400. And maybe I might go for the Boeing B-52, but I'd rather just wait to see, till the pictures come out, to see how it looks. But, uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell, here's my videos, and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.